It is finally Friday. What is good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to my 2K16 Let's Play My Career Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4. Gonna fight Neville on SmackDown. Not going to get into a new rivalry until I gain one more rank and then I can challenge the face who runs the place. And it's weird that he calls himself that. But yes, the face who runs the place, John Cena. Uh, is my eventual goal here to win the U.S. title, and now I'm curtain jerking on SmackDown. That, that's kind of, you know, crappy, but is what it is. Um, Swagger Ambrose, Taker Adam Rose, like, what the fuck is that even? Um, Rock and Big Show, sure, that, 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 that happened in real life. Triple H Rollins, I'm sure, will happen, because Rollins is still doing the, the, the pedigree, so... Considering that we kind of don't have the authority anymore, or we don't have the group that are the authority anymore. One would imagine at some point, uh, Triple H, who's been off t TV since Mania, comes back as like, look, motherfucker, the pedigree is my finishing move. You aren't allowed to use it anymore. And then they ha end up having a match at some point, you know, like Mania time, probably, maybe. Or, you know, the Rumble. I don't know. Something. No. Survivor Series sounds like a better uh, choice in terms of your big four. Like, where else would, tr would Triple H work a show? Either the Rumble, Mania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. And it probably won't be SummerSlam. Um, but hey, that could change. You never know. Anyway, Neville, the man that everyone forgot because he's been out injured for a little bit now. And oh no, I'm not actually fighting. I didn't, oh, I didn't pay attention there. I'm not actually fighting Neville. I'm getting attacked. And I have to deny whoever, whoever attacks me here because it's not going to be John Cena. No, it's, it's Ms. Dow. Sorry, Ms. Dow. We're not feuding, Ms. Dow. I'm sorry. This is not happening. I'm too fat to knock over. Or not. This is not happening, Mr. Ms. Dow. First of all, you don't, even, you don't even work here anymore, okay? You don't even work here anymore. So, how about double underhook, DDT, smash your dumb face, pick you up again, Let's see if I can get in the mist. Nope. I could not. I tried. I'm not even sure, like, what... Well, since he's Ms. Dow, his finisher is the... Mist is the uh, skull-crushing finale. But I'm not sure what his finisher would be before that. Like, obviously, he had the elbow of disdain, the Kobito Ekiet. But that, that was his signature, not his finisher. Like, what was his finisher before he was Ms. Dow? I don't actually remember. This is what happens when you've watched wrestling for a long time, and you have guys who were never really, you know, on top, on top, is you can't remember what the hell their goddamn finishing moves are. Here we go. Big ol' power on the stage. That's solid steel, folks. Solid steel. And DDT, we're done. Sorry, Ms. Dad, we're not feuding. We're not feuding. I'm waiting to hit rank three. And now we're going to get to talk to Renee Young, as you do here on this fine program. Let's not talk about... No, he's Damien Mizdow, Renee. Couldn't you read his little name and his little thing? Mizdow. Um, I'm a professional. I want a match now. Suspend him now. No one does that to me. I don't know. I know what he's trying to do, and it's not going to work. I'm a professional. He can't get me off my game. I'll tell you what. If he wants to come at me, then let's do this in the ring in a sanctioned match. So I know the second question is the one that confirms the rivalry. First question doesn't actually matter. This is the one. See, this is the one. What are my thoughts? My thoughts are, go fuck yourself. I'm... He's not worth my time. With all due respect to him, I'm focused... No thanks, Mr. Ms. Dow. No thanks. Uh, yeah, I want to face the best. I'm going after John Cena. Who else? That is the biggest matchup. Period. Thanks for the time. Back to you, Cole. Wait, well, I guess at this time, when this game came out, Cole was still announcing SmackDown uh, and not Morrow yet. So next year's career, this year's, the 2K, 2K17 career, uh, is not going to have her saying uh, on SmackDown, thanks for the time, back to you, Cole. But considering how broken so many other parts of this game are and have been 
in the last almost 200 episodes. It would not surprise me to have Renee Young saying, Back to you, Cole, on SmackDown when Cole hasn't been there in a long fucking time. Anyway, speaking of faces who uh, previously ran places, Seth freaking Rollins, uh, Mr. CrossFit, let's go. Here we are on the most stacked episode of Superstars ever. D. Bry, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Primetime Players, The New Day, Barrett vs. Taker, Ryback, Big Show, Pentagon Jr., Sami Zayn, Sting vs. Kevin Owens, and main eventing Ebenezer vs. Seth freaking Rollins. Let's do it! Okay, this time there is a button to say entrance on, entrance off, so the match is going to happen. Unlike last time when I totally just spaced on it, I was so distracted, I was going to talk about how, like, holy shit, uh, no one's mentioned Neville in months <laughs> since he got hurt, like, hasn't even been an afterthought, which is kind of a shame, because I think he is certainly super talented. And where does he fit in the new era, etc, etc, uh, when he comes back from that, um, shin, ankle, shin injury? Something. He got hurt. It was leg. Anyhow, I'm not sure when he's due back, um, but he had that, yeah, he, he, he got fucked up doing a baseball slide against Chris Jericho. That much I do recall, um, even though I'm not always great on the details. Um, and it's funny because I just plan on having, you know, a match here today, not a whole thing with a run-in and Renee Young and whatever else. So this actually is going to be a little bit longer than I had planned on. Considering I'm supposed to go run errands, I'm like way past due because we didn't start filming Perplexing Pixels until this morning, which... Uh, long-time fans of the show might know that we didn't we it, we never film on the same day that it airs because obviously there's some editing involved and obviously you know ideally you put you, you put up your your bet your best your most viewed videos on the weekend because you know you get the most views on the weekend so doing it on like you know a, a weekday is kind of defeating the purpose um so We've, for a, for a long time, we filmed on Tuesdays, for a long time, like two and a half years-ish, or no, two and three quarters years, uh, we filmed on Tuesday evenings after watching Raw, as we, as we usually do, as a, as a, as a group, um, and that was convenient, but it, it, that kind of, uh, eventually, uh, heel wife complained about it, and was like, why are you guys doing this, you guys need to not be getting all loud at like midnight, and whatever else, so... I was like, all right, we'll start filming it here. So now we, we usually uh, film here on Wednesday mornings is has been the plan. A little inside baseball here has been the plan uh, the past, I'd say, month and a half now, with a, with a, with a, a few exceptions. Um, it kind of, you know, depends on scheduling. I think let, let, last, week, we, 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 yeah, last week we filmed on Thursday, um, but that's kind of, you know, it's usually Wednesday morning. Um, but this week, when your co-host buys a wrestling ring, obviously scheduling tends to get a bit, uh, screwed up. So that's kind of what happened, uh, with our scheduling. Enough, Seth Rollins. Woo! That wasn't a chop. Um, so I was like, yeah, I got time on, like, Friday morning, and yeah, so that ended up, we ended up not starting filming until, like, 9.30. Or 10 this morning, um, which, you know, there's there's more to just hitting record and hitting stop. You know, there's there's more involved there. Um, and so, I ended up only being about a half an hour late, which was nice. Um, but that is more a testament to how good my computer is now, that I can render video a lot faster. It used to take me so long to render video. It was like an hour and a half to render 50 minutes of video. And now... It's like I can do 15 minutes of video in like 15 minutes. It's great. It's so much better. Apple juice! Five knuckles shuffle! What's that, Seth Rollins? What's that? Attitude adju- Oh. You ruined it, Rollins. You ruined it. Go back in the ring now. What a bum. Eat it. Yeah. So yes, uh, definitely a bit of a scramble this morning to get it recorded, uh, to record a bonus pixel, 
and to get it edited, uploaded, you know, tag, title, description, thumbnail, all that shit takes... I'm not hitting any buttons. I'm not hitting any buttons. I'm not hitting any buttons. Seth Rollins is staring at the back of my head. Is he behind me? Is he? The game broke. The commentary is still going, but the game, I think as long as I don't move, Seth Rollins is just going to stare a hole through my head. The architect, what is he architecting? Run! <laughs> ah! That was hilarious. That was hilarious. Like that one time, well, I was in that, what was that? Like, it was like a 30 minute match. It was a 3 on 1 match. And it was Ebenezer versus Ryback. And somebody and somebody. Uh, Ryback, uh, I can't recall the other. Sin Cara and somebody. I can't recall the third man. But Ryback got himself counted out. Just was, I, I wasn't hitting, hitting, hitting any buttons there. Roll up. I don't know. Um, and he sat there on the outside and uh, just stood there and got counted out. Which was amazing. So, I'm assuming... Occasionally this game just, you know, kind of breaks itself, which, you know, is not surprising, considering everything else that's been going on. And the fuck off, Seth Rollins! Fuck off. No. Get him out of the... Why is it... Follow me. How about... You can't see me, and I will give you... Some what the fuck? Why, Seth Rollins? Why? Have a big scoop slam, you bum. I just wanted to give these fans here on Superstars a little bit of excitement and put Rollins through a table, but I can't do that. When he keeps countering my goddamn signature. What kind of garbage face nonsense is this? Have a DDT. Because he's got now he's got a signature and a finisher. So now I don't know if he has the resiliency skill. So I don't know if he's going to be able to kick out of when I eventually actually do the move to him. Which is a problem. Yes, yeah, it's a regular ass suplex, and I can't get up. Oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm too fat. It's so hot, I'm so fat. Get up, Ebenezer. Holy shit. Why can't you get up? What? That was obscene. No! He's doing his oh my god moment now. He's gonna do his fucking suicide dive on me. Well, he at least used his finisher. Here we go. Seth Rollins suicide dive. He's going for it. And there we go. Suicide dive. Good for you. Well, this match is not really going as intended. And definitely going longer than I had anticipated as Rollins is just making short work of me. He's like, look, you think you're going to be good enough, good enough to fight John Cena? I don't fucking think so. I am Seth freaking Rollins. And I will teach you a goddamn lesson. He's got to finish her again. What is he doing? Why are my reversals just not working today? It's been real bad here. Really? We're on the outside, clown. You're gonna get me counted out. If I can't get up, there we go. Relax, referee. I'll get there. Really? You're gonna taunt me now? You're gonna taunt me now with that shit? I do mean business. Just gonna pin you now. I'm gonna make you waste that finisher. On something, Rollins. Don't think I won't. Flash pin! Nope. Whoa, chop block. Come back! Oh, crap! Side Russian leg sweep is gonna waste my comeback. 
Get up. Get up. Get up. Nope. Wasted it. What a fucking... What a wasted it. So far, I am 0 for 0 on getting... Or 0 for 2 on getting my comebacks to happen here. Oh, into the fucking top rope. Vicious. Rollins, vicious. I prefer not to lose this match, because I do want to get my rank up to, you know, 3, and losing is not going to help me. Uh, even though I don't think Rollins is in this league, in this, you know, um... I don't think he's, he's in the U.S. title hunt. I'm pretty sure he's in the world title hunt, but... You know. A win's a win, uh, according, you know, to make it a win, according to T Titus O'Neil. Uh, Alright, Rollins. I swear to God, if you do this again to me... Do it! Just fucking do it! There we go! Jesus! It's the third time. There we go. Count it, ref. Alright, he did have resiliency. So, now it's just a matter of hitting the Ebenezer like this and ending the match. Because I am not taking any goddamn chances with Seth Rollins on this shit. No chances. Pin him. We should be done here. Oh, God damn it! Why, Seth Rollins? I've got more things to... T I'm already running late from everything else that happened this morning. And you're making me run even later. You're not helping yourself. Flash pin. Flash pin. Count it, ref. Count it, ref. Why are you so fucking lazy? Do your job. There we go. Flash pin saved me again. At this point, that might as well be one of my finishers. I'm doing it so often. Messed up. That was a four-star match on Superstars. And there we go for Friday on this fine program. Hopefully at some point I'll hit that rank three and get into this feud with John Cena. And I'm fighting Miz Dow anyway, so, you know, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, that should hopefully inc increase my rank tomorrow. But until then, and until next time, thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'm a tax slug, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!